What's up, everyone? Skin, my name is Matt, and welcome back to Let's Play Donkey Kong Country Returns 3D. In the last episode, we did 3-2 Button Bash. In this episode, we're doing 3-3 Mast Blast. There's lots of blasting going on in this world. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a conspiracy to bring back the Sega Genesis Blast Processing. Who knows? There's some tricky stuff going on. I don't know what to believe anymore. This game could actually usher in the apocalypse for all I know. This level, however... Probably not going to usher in the apocalypse. It's actually pretty boring starting off, but it has a really awesome theme later on. Just trust me on that, guys. And wow, that was actually really close. I could have screwed that up. It took some damage for no reason. Same thing there. My goodness, man. What is going on with my jumps today? I'm, I'm living life on the edge because that's how I roll. All right, now right back here. This is our very first secret. So if we get really, really close to the edge, again, living life on the edge. That's how Donkey Kong rolls. We get our very first puzzle piece. We'll jump over this fire guy. You know, we're going to let him live today. I'm in a good mood. I'll let him live out of the rest of his life here on this little rock island and stuff like that. I'm sure it's a good time. I'm sure this is like a, a tropical paradise for every Donkey Kong and Tiki enemy guy. Sure, let's go with that. But now we're living life on the beach. Because the beach, tropics life, that's life for Donkey Kong. Screw the jungle, man. All right, we're going to bring some of these crab enemies back here with us. We're going to have a house party over here. We're going to jump off their heads, though. I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine with that. Because what you really want to do, get on the top of these crates, sort of ground pound them down. Then you get yourself another puzzle piece, and that's just a good time for everybody. Third puzzle piece is going to be right over here. Just break that crate. Destruction of private property. Why not? I'm feeling it. I know Duck Kong's feeling it. We'll grab that O before that crate explodes. That's just a bad time for everyone. Exploding crates, not really too much fun. All right, now these exploding crates, on the other hand, these ones actually need to explode, so watch out for the freaking cannonballs because they come out of nowhere trying to kill you. You know what? Payback will break their entire ship and sink it. That's how Donkey Kong rolls. He uses himself as a cannonball because who needs ammunition when you have yourself and your best bud, Diddy? Now, this is what I really, really like about this level. The inside of, like, the ship and the whole ship theme is actually pretty, pretty cool. I like the fact that you can, like, sort of see the ocean below you as well. But this ship is sinking, so we probably don't want to stay in here for too long. It'll be it'll be a bad time. Watch over the cannonballs, by the way. If you jump on them, well, they explode, and that's just... Yeah, I mean, you don't really want exploding things anywhere near your face. I'm pretty sure that's, like, written in a book somewhere. Of, like, laws, just, like, if something explodes, probably don't put it near your face. It's probably a bad time. Now, you probably see that end letter down there. Now, to get that, you just got to ground pound this sort of, like, steel grate. Then the end letter is yours for sure. We'll just grab this checkpoint now, and already you can see a puzzle piece in the background. We'll get that momentarily, but for now, we gotta blast ourselves over to that ship and break this little steering wheel. Well, actually, it's not really a steering wheel. It's actually a, uh... Actually, what do they call those things? I don't even know. My goodness, my mind is drawing a blank. I am just so dumb today. Uh, right off the bat, though, we get our G letter, so that's pretty stinking sweet. I already got all those. We got some puzzle pieces to find still, though, so let's go and get that one that we saw on the way over here. We can just roll, jump, and jetpack over. And we'll be perfectly fine to just grab that bad boy. Now there's three remaining, but I know where they are. So if we jump in this barrel, we can blast ourselves to the top of these masts. And we actually do need to be up here, though. Not for too long, though. You want to come down here, and you'll notice there's another little explody box. So we'll just stand on this for a little bit of time. And All right, sweet. That actually worked. I didn't know that if that was blast radius was actually long enough. But there we go. We got ourselves a puzzle piece. Now we're going to blind roll jump off the side. Land over here, because... These six puzzle pieces right on the other side of that ship. There's a lot of puzzle pieces right on this one little area. The very last one is actually in the center of the ship, right in this little bonus room. So, assuming we can get a cannonball to blow that up for us, we can jump down the center and start the bonus. This one's pretty easy. It's just your standard jump across everything, get all the bananas type bonus room. I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. Let's go to the top layer now. Get that extra life even though we really don't need it. We got 99 lives, man. That is just redonkulous. Redonkey Kongulous. I will never say that again for as long as I live, I promise. That was just really, really dumb. All right, there's the last thing. There's the last banana, or not banana coin, puzzle piece. We got all the Kong letters already. We are good to go to finish up the rest of this level. Let's just go Godspeed style. Finish this up. I like how we come out of like the captain quarters. That's pretty cool. Let's try not to fall in the sinking bonus barrel thing again. Donkey Kong. Come on, man. Work with me on this one. All right. Now we just need to sort of climb all the top of these masts and junk like that. So boost me to the top. Thank you very much. And wow. Come on, man. You're going to count that as a hit against me? That's just... Oh, well. Bye, Diddy. It was nice having you along for the short... Seriously? This is just not going to go well for me right now. Everything is just falling apart. I need to jump. Okay. You know what? 
I meant to do that. Everything just, that just happened, totally meant to do all of that. There was not a single moment of that that I did not mean for it to happen. I mean, I don't even like Diddy, so of course I wanted to get rid of him. And I want Donkey Kong out. Why am I going up there every single time? What am I doing? Focus, man. Oh, man, I'm too hyper tonight, I'm telling you. It's crazy. All right, let's get to this side now. Get on these two platforms. Thank you very much. And I need to sort of, like, get on that barrel. Thank you, barrel. Let's get out of here. And where are we going? Where are we going? Oh no, turns out barrels can actually just float and not attach to anything at all. And holy crap, that ship was not made well at all. Regardless, we're at the end of the level, so we're done. Doesn't matter that we sunk like three ships in the process of everything and... I mean, we pointed out some obvious, uh, you know, structural integrity problems to those ships. People should really work on that. The game's telling me to take a break again. Goodness gracious game, how many times do I have to tell you? Don't tell me what to do with my life. I will play this game for as long as I want. <laughs> Alright. I should probably stop, uh, stop doing this. I'm a little hyper tonight, as you can probably tell. Anyways, though, let's get into this episode. So once again, guys, my name is Man. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.